Hello everyone, my name is Ripley and today we're trying out Sydney Macarena's Pride Shell Challenge and if you're not aware what this challenge is, it's basically a word shell challenge where she has written out a word using rooms and we are gonna try to put those letters together to make an actual build and for this word shell challenge she used the word pride because of the pride month it just was Happy Pride by the way, I had a fun time celebrating Pride myself, so I hope you guys had a great time last month. And um, But I actually made this into an old looking library. I didn't have much Pride month in mind when I built it, this which might sound stupid, but I was too into my like, I wanna make this in, like an old fancy library, too much to think about, maybe I should put in some Pride flags or something. Um, there might be something that I still might do, go back into my gallery and add some stuff to celebrate Prime Month. But regardless, I hope you guys really will enjoy this build. Um, and right now I'm just doing kind of the outside. I'm doing some fences around the place. We're gonna do some, like a little park on the left, a little park on the right, kind of. And I'm just going around adding some doors and some windows. I'm using a lot of things from Discover University. I really think this, like that pack, really fits into this old, and uh, old kind of vibe, old like library vibe that I'm trying to get. Um, and I think the University is a really good build pack overall if you want kind of two different styles. Because of course we have this old kind of, this kind of goes with the entire like bright just the vibe. But then we also have this kind of IKEA slash more modern stuff that come with the like fox fur stuff so i guess it gives you kind of two different vibes and i think it's a great pack if you kind of want something to build with or just university in general is super super fun and i usually go back to it i think it has a lot of replay value uh, but i guess that's up to up to you it depends on what you like to play and now i'm doing terrain paint and i learned this trick from sunny creations that i could put like a darker dirt underneath my terrain paint and I really like how it looks because I really because this is like an old library I really wanted it to look like it's been used like I don't want it to look like it was plopped down like yesterday I want it to look like it's been here for like over a hundred years or whatever so make having that dirt underneath the terrain paint really make it look like people actually spend time here and people walk here like people dragging dirt on this um on this stone path and that's very normal and I think that it really looks like it's been here for a while and I really like how that looks. Then I'm doing landscaping and I learned this trick from Sunday as well that if you hold in, uh, hold down alt and shift at the same time that you can use spam click or spam place items which of course I know that holding down alt allows you to move objects freely and then shift allows you to place multiple items at once but i never thought about holding them down at the same time to spam place items but it was really really helpful because if i didn't know that then the landscaping would have taken me a lot longer to do and i really really enjoyed doing the landscaping i if you had asked me like two months ago i would have told you that i hate landscaping and the landscaping is the worst part of building but now I really enjoyed it. I think that because I think I've talked in my either it was my first video or my or in my like very first videos that talked about how I kinda had this build block with landscaping that I only could landscape with debug, which I'm not doing right now. I'm landscaping with the stuff we get in game. Well I guess debug is technically in game, but you know what I mean. But I think that that has kinda disappeared because now I really enjoy landscaping and I really find it much easier to do so I guess I just have that I guess I kind of like because I like to draw and I'm like an artist as well so I know that sometimes I have like um art block and I guess that's kind of the same thing that I sometimes I have art block and then it disappears and just with this I have this kind of like a landscaping block I guess and but that seemed to have mainly disappeared now which is really great because now I really enjoy doing landscaping and I really think the landscaping can be quite like chill and like calming and like good for your mental being I guess um, but now I'm just doing some 
more landscaping, and mixing some smaller like flower bushes with some bigger flower bushes, some fla and some different things just to kind of make it look more visually interesting while still having like a color scheme that goes together. And last I used those bigger bushes with the uh, white flowers. I think they kind of look really nice with everything else and I think they really tied in the place together. Um, I really wanted to get this kind of natural vibe but at the same time having this vibe that is very well kept. Like this place definitely have its own like gardener. It's definitely some person that comes and takes care of this garden but I still wanted it to, to, to look more like a little bit more natural. And then I placed this, um, these trees. I don't remember what they're called, but just in the front to make it look more like fancier, I guess. I think a lot of old like libraries, like old town buildings has that stuff. And then I placed some trees in the back. It was a little bit empty out there, so I put in some trees. And lastly, I'm putting in some rocks. You know me, I love my rocks. I can't build without them. I think that they really give like a nice touch to the build. I think they really finish up the landscaping really nicely. And then lastly, just putting in a little bit more, a little bit more train paint where I need it. But overall, that's pretty much the landscaping done. And then I'm using this uh, ivy or vines from the from Discover University. These are in the Discover University debug if you would want them. And I really, really love these vines. I think they're really nice and I mean I would not mind having more vines in the game but I think these are really nice. And I really think that especially on an older build they really kinda pulls the place together. I think that a lot of builds have a lot of like ivy and vines on them. Just kinda as a show of time, right? And then I went a little bit crazy with the get together vines that we got. I placed them pretty much everywhere that I could. I might have gone a little overboard, but I think it's fine. I really actually like how it looked in the end. So I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think it's really, like I said, it really kind of ties the place together, really makes it looks like it's been here for a while. And then I'm placing columns, which for the last couple of builds, I guess, I always forgot the columns, which is really weird because I've never done that before. I always put in columns and I think the columns are they really kind of give the house more of a depth and I think that it makes it look more finished but for some reason for the last couple of builds I have completely forgotten that. I guess that I'm just not now that I have started to actually record my builds and post them on YouTube I guess that I might just have too much in my head to remember certain stuff but I, I did remember it for this build, so that's good. Uh, and I'll try to remember it in the future as well. I, um, I guess it's just one of those things that you never... That you kind of forget. It's kind of like... It's kind of like in my residential builds, I always forget to put in a fire alarm. And I never used to do that before I started building on YouTube. But after that, I just... Um, I just completely forget it. So, if you have a download on one of my residential builds, Maybe remember to put in the fire alarm uh, or you spray to the first fire and then you realize that I don't have one. Uh, but regardless, I... <laughs> yeah, it's just things that you forget, right? I think that everyone has that. And now I'm doing the stairs and I realized that the stairs didn't have like a matching railings to the fence, which I think is so annoying, but I guess it's just the way that the Sims 4 is. Nothing, nothing ever have anything matching or anything like that and it's fine, I guess. But I did end up putting railings in the middle pieces and how I did that is basically that the entire stair, like, it looks like it's one piece but it's actually four different stair pieces which kind of allows you to put the railings more freely, not as freely as you would want but... And then I'm just putting in some uh, chest tables and some benches around the place um, you can also sit out by one of the ponds. One of the ponds are non-accessible but the other one is so you still can sit there and read if they would want to. And then we move on to the interior, and the interior is quite brown, which is something that I'm not used to doing. Like, I build a lot of like modern and contemporary stuff. I like to use kind of light and white colors in my builds, so making a build completely just like a dark brown color is way out of my comfort zone, but I think it really, I think I really like how it ended out. 
And I think that for an old build, especially like an old library, it's very common that they are more like a lot of natural dark brown wood tones. And again, I'm using a lot of stuff from the um, university pack. Again, this university pack really fits into this style that I'm going for. And I think it ends up looking really, really nice. So when you first walk into this build, you kind of come into this kind of reception area where I would imagine that the librarian sits, like where you'd go to check out your books or like ask some questions or whatever. And I think it would be really fun in the Sims 4 if it could, like if they would add like a feature where your Sims could actually like uh, borrow books from the library, like you can check out some books and then you would get like um, like a few days to read the book and then you would have to send it back even like either go back to the library or like send it back to mail and if you would have sent it back then you would get like a like a fee or something like a late fee i think that they would have been a really fun feature to have and even though i doubt that they would add it maybe i don't know maybe there's a mod for that i'm sure that there is uh, we have so many talented modders in this community so i'm sure there's someone might have done something similar. Either way, if they haven't, I think that they would have been a really fun feature. <laughs> and then I'm just adding some stuff around the place. I'm decorating the shelves behind the reception and I'm adding some different bookcases on either side. Uh, we have both those big, tall bookcases and then we have the smaller ones, which I imagine is like where you kind of find like archives and that kind of stuff. Like, you know, newspaper clippings and like articles and that kind of stuff and I think that's really fun. Like, I think that all, every bookcase that I used is from university and um, just kind of filling the space out and making it look more like cohesive, right? And then it's a quite small area so I did also end up pushing in some bookcases in the like, columns that we have and I think that it's still usable but I'm not sure. But there are definitely bookcases around the place that are, so even if they would just be like decorational, it would still be fine. The game actually only requires three bookcases for a library, which I think is very little. I mean, I guess I understand why, of course, but I think that for a library you usually have a shit ton of <laughs> bookcases, and so did I. I think I ended up with like 30 bookcases or something like that, which is maybe a little much, but for, for a library I think it works. Then I also added in two computers because even if this is an old library, it still kind of have to, it still kind of has to keep up with the modern times. So having computers at the library is almost a must, I would say. As well as, of course, I put in an empty desk for Sims to do their homework or do whatever they need to do. And lastly, I'm just putting in some more seating areas, some armchairs here and there, some um, some couches. Just to make it more like useful for your sims to be able to actually sit down and read or sit down and do whatever they need to do. Um, and lastly I'm just putting in a lot of decorations and some lights. Just some last few details. I used a lot of paintings that I usually not use. Just because, you know, I usually build modern, I usually build like contemporary and a lot of this like a lot of paintings don't really go with that, but now I actually got the chance to use them, which I'm really happy about, and I think it ended up looking really, really nice. I also got the chance to use this, it's from Cats and Dogs, this um, painting where the dogs play, I think they play like the Don't Make the Llama game, and I really, really love that painting, I think it's so fun, but I never get to use it, so I took the opportunity to use it in this build, and I'm very happy that I did. And then I'm just going around adding some last three paintings here and there. I thought about adding a mirror, but I didn't. I did, however, add two bathrooms to this place. And in one of the bathrooms, I actually have a shower, which I thought was really useful, especially like if you, even if your Sims just need to like shower when they are at the library, you know, maybe you have like your Sims studying and they are at the library all day. But especially if you will play like something like Rex to Riches, I think that you would really like to have access to a shower, especially in the beginning. Maybe you don't always want to go to the gym or like something like that, so I had them one in in case I think it's always useful to have a shower. And then I'm just going around adding some last few details here and there. I'm again just going through <laughs> using pretty much every painting that I never get to use. 
And then I'm adding some flowers here and there, kind of making it look a little bit more nicer, a little bit more like... Oh, I, guess, I don't know, it's nicer, I guess. Adding some wall plants as well. And then I realized that I forgot to do like the back side of this column in the reception area. So here I just added some like like a shelf with a bunch of stuff on it. I imagine it would be like antiques as well as like a corkboard that maybe belongs to the community. Like on the corkboard they put on like community activities and that kind of stuff. But with that said, we are about to jump into screenshots. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all very very soon. Ripley out.